friends, Brie Firth here, and today I'm creating a sliding light up card with the Christmas Streamer stamp set from Pink and May. And I went ahead and I heat embossed the streamer's image and the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year sentiment with Ranger Gold embossing powder. And then I used Tattered Rose Distress Oxide ink to create a, a muted fade at the top of the card. So to create the light up component, I started by using a piece of A2 sized vellum and a pencil to mark where I want my lights to shine through the front of the card. And then I set the card front aside and I used that piece of vellum to mark where uh, the light stickers need to be on the inside of the card. And the uh, back card base is five and a half by five inches and it's scored at the four and a quarter mark so that it'll have a top fold. Um, I've made a lot of bottom fold slider cards. I just wanted to see what it was like uh, doing it with a top fold. And then I used the stencil from the effect stickers kit to uh, figure out the placement of where my stickers are gonna be. I love using that stencil because it makes creating the circuits a lot, uh, a lot easier, a lot less thinking on your part. And then um, in the battery holder placement, I put a piece of double-sided tape um, just because the light's not going to be activated at all time because of these, uh, the fold-over mechanism. So I'm just using a piece of double-sided tape to hold the battery in place. So now I'm placing the conductive fabric tape along where I've already traced out the circuit uh, using a, a pencil just to kind of draft up the circuit. And I'm placing the negative circuit first. And this circuit is actually going to connect to the battery, while the positive circuit is not going to completely connect to the battery until that top flap is folded over and touching the, the positive circuits that are connected to the sticker lights. And so now I'm placing the positive side here, and as you can see there's just straight lines up, um, not connecting to anything, but once that that top flap is folded over, it'll connect to the positive circuit attached to the battery. And the conductive tape is really nice because it's really forgiving and flexible, so, that, so I'm using it for the slider card since there's that main fold along the top flap. And I'm, I, created a circuit with five different stickers today um, just so that there's a nice little pattern going along that bottom edge of streamers. And with the conductive fabric tape, you don't have to use a scoring tool and creating 90 degree angles are a lot easier than it is with copper tape. So now I'm going to place the battery, peel up the backing paper on the double sided adhesive stick the battery down, and then I can add that last part of the circuit. Sometimes I have trouble fidgeting with <laughs> having that um, piece of washi tape to hold it all within a circle. So here at the end, I kind of just <laughs> sent, went with the wind and just, just kind of finished it off. Um, so I decided that I'm going to use some green stickers because I thought that the green, blush, pink, and gold was, were, was a nice kind of color combo. And on the circuit stickers, there's a positive side and a negative side. And with using that stencil, it makes it a lot easier to um, figure out which way to place the stickers um, so you don't once again, you really don't have to think about it when you use the stencil. And you can denote that they're the green stickers because they have a G on them. And as you can see, the lights are not activated be since that positive circuit is uh, currently broken. And I'm going to place the last sticker there, and once I fold that flat down, as you can see, whenever I connect that uh, top foldover part to the sticker by using a little bit of pressure, it causes the light to light up. So I went ahead and I placed some foam tape and peeled off the backing paper around the outside edges of the card 
making sure not to put tape over top of the flap so that there's a little bit of wiggle room there so the lights aren't uh, constantly activated. And I made sure to put foam tape around the battery. And now that it's all lined up, once I pull my finger across the top of the card, it activates all the lights. I think I've decided that I like the flap at the bottom of the card. It's just easier to maneuver, but I thought it was a cool fact to, you know, at least try it at the top once. But thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the circuit. Uh, there's more details on the blog post uh, linked in the description below. So um, head over there to see more details on the circuit and the products that I used and come back soon for more creative fun.